Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today's video is about a, an inexpensive uh, indoor lighting kit for a chronograph. Now, this is an F1 crony that I recently purchased. I uh, had one of these things years ago. It was stupid to sell it, so I had to get another one. But um, anyway, so the lighting kit, I didn't budget for the uh, actual lighting kit. Um, and I really was kind of leery on even doing this because uh, from all the information I know about chronographs, they're pretty sensitive when it comes to lighting. As I've been finding out, you don't put them anywhere near halogen lights, especially a thousand watts worth, because it blinds the sensor so much, it really throws your gun out of whack. And uh, that I found because I've gone to this lighting kit with the LEDs, and uh, I had seen a video on YouTube where a guy did this with the hockey puck style LED lights. Now, his only had three little LED bulbs per but these ones got 24, and I thought, can't hurt. Um, Try them by sitting them on top of the diffusers, and it wasn't quite enough light. Um, so I had more misreads than I had reads, like errors, right? And uh, so I thought I'd try these uh, on the underside and attach them with Velcro, and uh, they seem to work great. So, and I used white Velcro, so this way, when I use them outside on a cloudy day and I leave the diffusers themselves on, I can take the lights out of the way and I can still use the crony. Or if it's really bright, you take the diffusers off anyhow and just leave your rods in place. So I'm going to throw some pellets across the crony for you. Uh, these are 7.9 grain crossed and pointed pellets. And uh, I'm shooting them out of a Gakato spring rifle. It's an old rifle. And um, so I know I'm still going to get the odd errors come up. Uh, mostly because this gun is still dieseling and it tends to blow its, its diesel smoke across the sensors at times. So I gotta stand about two feet away to, you know, get as many consistent readings as possible um, before it errors out. But um, it uh, gives you a really, you know, good idea here that, you know, this does work. And these lights were, I bought them at the source today for like five bucks a piece and uh, they already came with batteries, which was bonus and I'd already gotten spare batteries anyway for them. Um, and I got the Velcro pretty cheap, so that works for me. And I'm also going to throw across a couple of Prometheus pellets. Um, these are like really super ultra lightweight pellets. Another reason why I have the boxes there instead of my trap, because you don't want to shoot a Prometheus pellet at a steel trap. So let's fire off a few and uh, see how we get. Now you got to be as dead on center to center on each center. Uh, on each sensor so that it doesn't error out on you. Our first one's an error. Second one's an error. There we go, 390.5. So we're getting pretty consistent here. Three eighty seven point one. I'll put another one through and then we'll fire off a few Prometheus. Three eighty three. Now this is where this gun should actually run at. Um, so with a 7.9 grain pellet, it's running really good uh, in this target area um, of the high 300. So you know we're we're doing really well. Not much fluctuation there. Still got some dieseling going on, but I'm standing about two feet away. Like my muzzle is literally two feet from it. But if I go up closer, I'll uh, show you what happens. This may or may not read. It's hard to say, but I'm about maybe seven inches. 
So 41160. Let's try that again. I mean, the idea is to track the projectile when it leaves the muzzle, so you got to be as close as possible, but 366.10. So we're back in the same ballpark area. And we air it out. Okay, so we're going to throw a couple Prometheus across this thing, out of this gun, and see how it does. Now these are truncated Prometheus. And if I remember right, these were somewhere around 5 grain. They're really super light. Five ten. Error. Five twenty eight ten. It's actually five twenty eight point one, but Sorry about that. Okay, last Prometheus shot. Hopefully it reads. Now I'm going to get a little up close and personal with this one. Now I'm going to get about two inches in front of the crony. And we air it out. Oh well. So Prometheus pellets are really fast, um, which is nice. The trouble with using too light of a pellet um, is the problem is you're going to lose energy, you tend to lose accuracy, you know, and you're definitely because you lose energy, you do lose your distance. So, you know, unless you're running them out of PCP guns, you know, these spring rifles, eh, but um, they do run actually not too bad. I mean, I'm not going to hurt this rifle much by uh, throwing a, a Prometheus pellet in, it actually won't hurt it at all. But uh, I wouldn't want to shoot these things through a PAL uh, rated air gun. You know, so, because they'd be way too light and cause some severe piston slam. So as you can see, um, we got about 95% of the time, I guess, 90-95% of the time, we get good solid readings um, with this kind of an indoor light setup. Now the reason why it's darker in here, guys, in case I didn't mention it, and I'll mention it again, um, is I have fluorescent lights in the basement and they do interfere with chronographs. Uh, so, this works. I'm going to continue using it this way for when I'm croning um, guns and stuff indoors. And uh, it's nice having the, the cardboard boxes there because then I don't have to worry about it because my target trap actually sits up higher. And um, so, and I don't want to shoot my crony. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry for taking so long, but you know, I like to be thorough and you know, give you guys good reviews on stuff. And, uh, you know, just to throw a few little um, brownie points in there, the F1 Crony is a really nice Crony. Um, so if you don't need a printer, you know, but I mean, there are, you can hook a printer apparently up to this thing. And I think there's also a, like a reset switch or, you know, uh, that you can also buy for it too. So you can have a remote switch uh, instead of having to turn the power on and off all the time. Um, but, um, you know, if you can afford the indoor lighting kit, buy it. If not, Hey, 10 bucks, that was sweet, and it works awesome. So, uh, you know, and there's not very much light in here right now other than the lights over the crony and my halogen that's actually right beside the camera, and uh, it's pointing against the wall so it keeps the light away from the crony. So, um, kudos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.